Strike Force Miami card. Uh, undercard, not even worth talking about. I could do a video on how much I despise Strike Force's uh, inability to put on decent undercards. And I might do it, but they just, like, waste space. Like, it's, it's not even there. Like, undercards? Those don't even exist. Uh, you. You want to fight? Okay, you're on the undercard. Go ahead. No, no intention of building up fighters or having, you know... Oh, that's what we use Strike Force Challengers for, so our main card, uh, the undercard of televised fights? It doesn't even matter. We can throw whoever we want on there. It doesn't... Aside from this fight, Joe Riggs against Jay Heron should be on the main card. It's not. Uh... Jay Haran, probably going to win this by decision. I think he's got the better boxing, and he can probably threaten with a takedown. Uh, the problem is, uh, I can s maybe Joe Riggs can win by TKO. Haran has been tagged a couple times when, uh, you know, and finished. A, I'm not going to say suspect chin, but he gets tagged when he shouldn't, and his recovery is not as good as it should be, and Riggs has the power to do it, but... I'm going to be safe with this and say Haran by decision. It should be a real good fight, though. Greg Nagy against Herschel Walker. Who the F cares? Why am I censoring myself? Who the fuck cares? Uh, I might put a little bit of... on Nagy just because he's 25 and more experienced, but you got to figure uh, Strike Force is... Herschel Walker. I mean... He's, we're going to put, he was in the NFL, and we're going to put him on our card. He's never fought ever. Not an amateur fight. He's never, I, Taekwondo, he did a bunch of Taekwondo back in the day, and he's a good athlete, so he's on the card. Uh, you know, if this was anything, if it wasn't Strike Force, if it was the UFC, people would be shitting all over him. Strike Force is dumb. Why are they putting this? This is ridiculous. It's an abuse of power. They can do whatever they want. But it's Strike Force and not the UFC. If it was the UFC, you know, things go both ways. It's uh, not fair to either organization. But uh, okay. Bobby Lashley against Wes Sims. Good last minute sub. I like it. Uh, a decent name. He was on The Ultimate Fighter. Um, he presents. Not really any problems to Lashley, and Lashley's probably going to win this by TKO. Um, although Sims is, he's not hard to finish, but um, he's got the experience that uh, this could go to a decision. Um, kind of like the Jason Guida, uh, Bobby Lashley fight where Lashley just took him down and ground and pounded him for three rounds. Could happen, but Lashley's improved a little bit, not as much as people think he has or should he kind of gets the catch 22 on that where he's a big name and people expect him to be awesome but he's not really progressing at that high of a rate but i expect him to win this fight robbie lawler against melvin manoff uh yeah i you know at first i was like manoff is gonna ko him and then i was like well Lawler could take him down, and then I was like, when is the last time Lawler took somebody down and subbed him, or even attempted subs? And then I thought, uh, Manhoff's problem isn't his takedown defense, it's once it gets down to the ground, his sub defense, and he only gets submitted by, you know, uh, really good grapplers. Uh, Philo almost got decapitated by Manhoff before he pulled out a, a, some ridiculous armbar, and he's one of the best grapplers, you know, around. So you got to figure Manhoff has 15 minutes to KO Lawler. And that's probably going to happen. I'm going to go Manhoff, TKO, second round. Maybe KO. No, Lawler's tough, TKO. But it should be good for as long as it lasts. Um... Christian Cyborg Santos against uh, Marlos Koinen. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Koinen. Koinen, very, uh, very experienced. 
It's weird that I'm saying this, but she's training in Holland at Golden Glory, and she has the ground advantage over Santos. Um, Santos, on the ground, she uses her strength to an advantage, um, because most women she fights aren't as big as her, so she overpowers a lot of them, and that's how she gets out of a lot of trouble, uh, kind of makes up for her lack of grappling skills. Um, Conan, if she gets this to the ground, uh, it could be big trouble for Santos. Could be big trouble. Um, and she's just as big as Santos. Maybe not as strong, but probably just as big. Uh, Conan, Coinan, Coinan, I think it's Coinan, has been TKO'd before, once by Aaron Tohill. Uh, I think Tohill is probably... She's in the mix there, and I hope she gets a, a fight one of these days in Strike Force. But I think, you know, Coinan, being from Holland, and she's going to, unless she smarts, fights really smart and takes it to the ground and imposes her will and, um, you know, kind of tires out. Um, I'm just going to call her Cyborg. Tires her out. Cyborg. I figure in the first round and a half she has the advantage just because of her blitz attack. If Coinan gets drawn into a slugfest, Cyborg is gonna is gonna run all over her because um, that's what she does. She imposes her will, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna go on uh, probably that. Cyborg by TKO in the first round and a half. Although, if it goes later, I think Santos still has a chance of winning. Uh, the chances incre it increases for Coinan though. Uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, Cyborg by TKO in the second round. Nick Diaz, Moray Saramskis. Uh, if you look at um, Go watch a video uh, by EBW Returns, EB Dubs, as he's called. He does a good job of breaking down this fight. And I actually have a wager, friendly wager, with somebody else in the YouTube community on this fight. And basically, Diaz is more experienced, uh, he's taller. His striking is better. He's got a good chin. Zoramskis so is going to come forward and look for big shots and take him out and try to KO him with one shot, maybe a head kick. He likes the head kick, obviously. Not obvious to everybody that's going to watch this video, but most people. Zoramskis so likes head kick people. And he likes weird... If he tries a backflip guard pass against Diaz, he's going to get subbed in a quick second so <laughs> he's not gonna do anything cute like that he wants no part of Diaz on the ground make no mistake about it um and I think Diaz is gonna use his, his reach um he's gonna be cautious in the beginning look for you know the head kick uh look for big shots uh and as it goes later into it, and Zoramskis is putting every, you know, power into every shot, he's gonna, he's gonna tire himself out, Diaz is gonna work the body, uh, with, with punches, uh, wear him out, eventually, he'll catch him, you know, maybe with a body shot, put him down, and he's gonna finish it with a rear naked choke, I'm gonna go third round, Diaz sub subs him with something, Probably a rear naked choke if it gets to, if it gets there. Um, Diaz is too experienced. I like Zoramskis. He's kind of a one dimensional fighter at this point. When you think about it, Diaz, it could be a bad matchup for him, but it really isn't. I mean, he's got a good chin. He's got better cardio, good boxing, the better reach. Uh, he's pretty big for one seventy and better, way better grappling. He just has way more advantages in this fight than disadvantages and Diaz is just going to outwork him um, pepper him with shots and 
you know, this being a five-round fight, definitely, and I will say all day long that the Diaz brothers, if they fought in five-round fights, they would have more, way more wins than losses because their car, the way they train, their cardio, and their punching style is they train for their volume punchers who are hard to hurt. And uh, Jordan Breen has said this a couple times. You know, they're volume punchers that are hard to hurt. And the later it goes, uh, the less chance they have to lose. So I'm going to go with Diaz by choke, third round, bank on it. So there you go. Those are my picks. Strike Force Miami. Um, pretty much all I have to say about it. Should be decent. Decent. Um, it's a fight card. It's not a great fight card. Should be entertaining, though. So, you guys stay metal. Later.